everyone, Lisa here with the Photoshop tutorial today. So if you are in Planner Pixies, then you just got another bonus. So I have added all of the Photoshop files for the tab dividers for the digital planners. So previously I did not release those, but I thought I would give them out as an extra bonus for Planner Pixies. So what you're looking at here are the tab dividers that are inside of the Wedding Digital Planner. Now, if you recall, the Wedding Digital Planner came in many different colors, uh, blue, pink, purple, gold, green, but the digital planner was only available in purple. However, it's possible that you might be someone who decided I would really like this available in blue or the green color or pink or a totally different color other than that. So you might want to edit this. So here's what you want to do. Now you'll notice there's no text in here because all of the text is inside of Adobe InDesign. So inside this file, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go up here to the top and you're gonna go to window and make sure layers is checked because over here is where you're gonna see everything in layers. Now, sometimes when you open some of the files, they may be completely empty. And the reason is, is because all of these are hidden. Today's video is sponsored by Simplygram, which is an amazing service that will help grow your Instagram by about 5,000 followers every month. I don't know about you, but that sounds pretty great. And the best part is they do it organically and they don't need your user ID and password to do so. Now, you don't have to worry, they're not gonna violate any of Instagram's terms of services. Your account is not going to be shut off. I have used them, they have grown my service and they have done an amazing job at it. And they have a lot of great features, 24 seven support. Um, they have no downloads, they have one-on-one -on -one consults if you need them. So this is something you can just simply purchase and then forget about and check later and all of a sudden your account has grown. Now you will get 10% off of all of these different fees if you use my link below and make sure to go ahead and check them out. They do have a very easy risk-free 30-day money-back guarantee as well. So it is a no-brainer to me to check out Simplygram. So really easy, I'm gonna show you how to edit this. So first, let's just pretend we are gonna change this all to pink. So the first thing we're gonna do is come down here to the very bottom, and you'll notice that this board is in purple, and I've changed it over here with the hue and saturation. And again, all of these files are a little different, so if you have any questions and you're not sure how to edit them, just let me know. Uh, so over here, you can see I can move that slider around until I kinda of get the color I want. So. What did I say? I think I said pink. So I'm gonna increase the red. Um, that might be a little too much of an increase. Uh, so we don't want maybe a bright pink. Maybe we want like a light pink. So let's see how easy that is to get. And you might have to just find a new background altogether um, that has nothing to do with this particular color in case the hue or saturation don't work. But usually when I toggle these, I can usually find a color that I like or something that kind of works. So this doesn't really look like it's gonna work out for the pink. It sounds like I'll have to just find a pink background all by itself. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and just try a different color. So, oh, actually that's not bad. That's like a, that's an okay pink. Um, we can move this down, make that a little bit more pink. All right, so I now wanna change these tab dividers to be pink as well. So I can go over here and you can see I've labeled them. See, it says honeymoon, ceremony, cake, photo. So that's the text that you'll see on the other side. Um, so you'll have to make sure that you turn on all the tab dividers, even though in theory, you would not have all of the tab dividers turned on uh, in order to export this file because that would be too many tab divider colors. So we're gonna go ahead and turn everything on and then over here on the top right, you're gonna see these are toggled off. So this is a little eye. I don't know if you can tell that. It's like an eyeball icon. So when it's off, it means you can't see it, but when it's on, it means you can. So we're just gonna change these top four up here and the ones on the right, you'll change as well. But we obviously, for the sake of time, so this video isn't 20 years long, we will adjust to the top. So if you're not sure which one you're looking at, two things you can do is make sure the move tool over here is selected. And then when you tap, usually on, um, whoops, on anything on this document, it will bring up where it is over here. So now we can see that this is the home, it is selected. I'm gonna double click this and I wanna change this to that pink color. 
So that might be a little orangish. So maybe I'm gonna scale this down and maybe make that like a bright pink. And then over here for the second one, I'm gonna double click that and I'm gonna just, it'll automatically bring up this eyedropper tool. I'm gonna select that color and I want it a little less intense. So we're gonna move it over here on this color picker scale. And the next one with budget, same thing. I'm gonna pick that and I'm just gonna keep moving it over. And then the very last one, timeline, I'm gonna pick this and I'm gonna make it a really light purple or pink color because remember we're going pink instead of purple. So now everything matches. So all I have to do over here is I'm gonna select this and I wanna make sure what's on the left matches what's on the right because in theory, if you open or close these pages, that's what you should see. Um, and so we're gonna just go ahead. It's really easy with this eyedropper tool to just go ahead and select those colors. So now it matches exactly what we see on the right and the left. Now you can go through and do all the ones on the right and all the ones on the left and you'll see they're divided over here. Top, it says left tabs on left. So if we take that little eye icon off, we can see them all disappear so we know which ones are the correct ones. And same over there, right tabs on right marble. So we can take those off and do that same thing as well. So when you go ahead to go save these files, you'll notice inside of your InDesign file, all of these are individual files. So you're gonna have to make the magic kind of happen. Um, whereas when they open it, they should see all the file tabs over here on the right, but none on the left. So what you'll do is you're gonna hide everything on the left. So you'll see over here, where do we go? Tabs on the left, hidden. And then same thing over here, top tabs on the left, hidden. So this is the only file that I need to send over for that first tab, which is called the, um, which one is it? Hold on, I will tell you, it is called the home tab. So I'm just gonna do file export for web and I'm just gonna leave this size as is, it's perfectly sized and I'm gonna save this out as my 01 home tab. That's all I have to do. And then the next thing I wanna do is I'm gonna move that tab over to the left. So just like in your digital planner, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hide that one right here on the left. Did you see that? It was on, it was off. And then over here, we're gonna go ahead and find that tab on the other side. I think it's at the top. Yes, it's at the top. And we're gonna go ahead and, oh, we don't want all four. So we're gonna turn all of these off and make it look like the home tab magically moved over to the left. And so this tab over here is the contacts tab. So now we're going to export, save this for web, and we're gonna call this O2 contacts. And you're just gonna keep going through that one by one. We'll do one more together. So we're gonna hide the contacts on the right. Did you see that? I just, all I had to do to hide it was toggle that little eye on and off. And then over on the left, we want to show it. So we're gonna turn that on. So now it looks like I've turned two pages to the left. And the next one in there is budget. So we are just going to do file, export for web, and we're gonna call this one budget. So I like to number them just so I know where I am as I go down through the file. And then assuming that we're all done, we, we would have done all of these tabs, same thing on the right and the left, hide the right, show it on the left. Then once we're all done, we'll just import those tabs into InDesign. So I will show you that now. You're gonna open your file up in Adobe InDesign. So this is the digital planner that you received and you can see it's purple. So what we'll do is we'll just hover over here and we'll see that 1D home dots is applied. Now, if you are not seeing this pages panel here on the right, just go to window at the top and make sure that pages has a check mark in front of it. And it should either show up on your right or it could just be floating. Sometimes I think cause mine is defaulted there, but it could be like a floating panel. Let's see just anywhere. Um, but if you push it back over here, it should kind of just sort of lock into place. But I can see that 1D is the parent page that's been applied. And the way I can tell that is the pages on the bottom are your actual pages. The pages here at the top are your parent pages. So if I go over here to 1D, I can see that it is in fact all purple. So I can go ahead and select this background right here and I can do file, place, and I can go ahead and select home. And now you can see it just changed to pink. I don't have to update anything else. It just went ahead and changed it for me. So same thing over here. So if we go back to this page, now we can see it's pink.
and so is the one right after it. And now, of course, we have a purple page, another purple page. So we can see this says it has 2D applied to it. So if we go to 2D, that's contact dots. So it's purple. So we're going to select this again, and we're going to do File, Place. And we're going to go ahead and select Contacts. And now it's pink. So if we go over here to 2D, we can see it is also pink as well. Now there is something special. Like I said, every single file is kind of different. And this file has uh, two sets of parent pages for each section. And the reason it does that is if you look over here, I put some extra dots here. <laughs> so I did some changes on here. So if you want, um, so we can see that two uh, context is applied. So if we go to two, we can see that it's all purple. And in fact, I did not have this inside of Photoshop. So another way that you can do this is that you can see what this file is uh, by going to the links file, um, the links page, and we can see that two contacts is over here. And then this file right here are it says violet background. These are just the dots um, with those stripes through them. So what you could do is you could go out into your files because you did receive all of the links that came with this file. Uh, I don't believe any of these were, sometimes I don't give you the links if it's a an Adobe file, like uh, Adobe stock photo, because I don't have the uh, permissions to do that. But for the most part, um, like I think the dots are and the stripes are just dots and stripes um so i don't think that was anything like super special or super secret so over there oh let me just show you my files um so over there you we can go into digital planner and you should be able to see inside of your digital planner folder a folder called links and inside of that links folder so let me change this to icon is all of those files that were used inside of there um and so you can just find any of these files uh, and then change the color. Color, I can't even talk. So we could go ahead and open this with Photoshop, and then inside of Photoshop, we can change that color uh, inside of there as well. So this is more of a two-step process, only because this one looks a little bit different. So let's go ahead and do that now. So inside of Photoshop, I'm gonna turn off the lock, and I'm gonna come over here to the bottom, um, and I'm gonna create a new fill, for hue saturation. Um, and I think you can see that as well over here for layers for new style. I'm actually not sure. I don't use, honestly, Photoshop as much. Oh, there it is, layer new fill style. There we go. Um, or is it layer new adjustment style? There it is, hue saturation. That'll bring up that same uh, icon here. And again, if you don't see this on the right, go to windows and make sure that layers has a check in front of it. And we're gonna go ahead and do that same thing we just did. I'm gonna try to change this color and we're gonna make this a little bit more pink, right? Isn't that the color I said? Yeah, pink. That looks kind of pink to me. So I really like this. We're just gonna go ahead and export this as our pink. So you don't have to change the sizes on this at all. And you don't even have to put it, I mean, you could put it in the links folder. It'll do it for you at the end when we package it together. We're just gonna call this pink stripes and dots. So now I've saved this out as a JPEG. So let's go back into Adobe InDesign and change that. So again, uh, if, let's go back to pages. So over here at that master page that this one had assigned to it, we're gonna go ahead and we can see that two contacts is the one, the parent page. Um, I think I said master page. I'm not used to their new uh, naming convention, but they're called parent pages now. Uh, so we're gonna do file place and we're gonna place that contacts uh, because the contacts is the one that has contacts here at the top. And then you can see this is still purple. So we are going to now put in that new pink stripes and dots that we had. So we're gonna go to file place again and we're gonna do pink stripes and dots. And now we have pink stripes and dots. So now if I double click this page down here, we can see that it is now pink and we have pink dots. And that's all you have to do as you go through to change things. So again, this one was a, probably the most complicated out of all of them, but the rest of them shouldn't be as difficult. And if you run into any problems with any of them, because like I said, everything's kind of a little bit different, let me know. Um, and hopefully this will help you to give your digital planners just a little bit more customization. And again, you can find all of these inside of Circle. I have added all of these as one big zip file. So you can get all of the digital tab dividers downloaded at once.
Remember, if you would like access to this, just make sure to join Planner Pixies where you can get access to not only all the digital planners, but all of the Photoshop files as well. And I want to give one last thank you to our sponsor, Simply Graham, who is just amazing. Don't forget, you get 10% off with my discount code below. And yes, I did check all of these out to make sure they were legit, and they totally are. You can check out more testimonials on their website. And don't forget, they do have a 30-day money-back guarantee.